Hello everyone, a warm welcome to this course. So in this course, what we are planning to do is, is build a Node.js based CLI. The intention here is that we will learn how to make a Node.js based CLI, but that we will do by making an app. Okay. And that app is nothing which is more relevant in today's world, which is, you know, as you already know, we have COVID-19 affecting everyone, right? And being in India, the it's, it's, it's like the cases are going crazy. So what I thought was that because vaccination is going on and it is very tough to find a vaccination slot. And each time to find a vaccination slot, you have to go to that side and keep checking a number of times. I thought being a developer, most of the time, what we are doing is we are either in the, you know, working in the, some uh, code editor terminal most of the time we spend there so rather than going to the browser each time refreshing page and doing stuff i thought why can't we have a cli right a cli which gives you real time status a cli which tells you about different slots and it's a basic structure and you can build on top of it so in this course we will learn a node.js how to create a node.js based cli from beginning and while doing that, we'll actually make an app which is pretty useful. Okay, so moving on, what you will learn is you will learn how to create the CLI. We'll we'll, we'll cover uh, take baby steps to make how do you make the CLI, right? And in fact, we'll start with what is CLI also, right? And at the end, what you will get is get is a real time info about COVID nineteen vaccination slots for your area. It is just a live app. What you can do is you can make as whatever CLI you want to make as per your need because you will be able to learn how to make it from this course. Moving on, so what will this CLI do? This CLI will, because in India what we have is the country is comprised of different states. States have different districts, okay? So what we want our uh, CLI to do is one is we want our CLI to have the ability to get all the states. Then we want our CLI to basically has the ability to get all the districts of a state because I am more interested in knowing what are the vaccination slots available in my district, right? So based on those districts, we are able to get the slots. Another thing is we have applied certain filters. For example, the vaccination is going on in phases here. It is right now open for almost everyone above 18, but earlier it was only for 45, then from anyone above 45 years of age. Now it is 18 to 45. And apart from this, what we will learn is how do we make make some beautification? How do we make this CLI beautiful? So enough of talking. I think it makes sense to directly jump into the course and start taking baby steps. The only prerequisite of this course is to make sure you understand what is Node.js, what is JavaScript. Then it will be very easy for you to make this and to make this CLI and under this understand this course in detail. Okay, so let's start with our first initial setup. So in this initial setup, what we will do is we will install all the modules which we need. What are modules? Modules is like a reusable code which do a certain set of things and they are hosted on a public repository which is npm. So npm has is like a package manager for these all different reusable packages. So, so thinking about what all we can need. One is uh, because we'll be uh, making some kind of an API call from the different uh, so from the server where there are slots, so we will need Axios. This is a package manager. We'll have a look at it. And then we will have a, we'll also need to beautify our output, right? A terminal output. So that we will do by chalk. And as well as we'll use TTY table as another package, which is for, you know, making your table output beautiful. And then most important thing is, we will also need commander because when you need to run some CLI commands such as Coven states. Let's say our CLI uh, command name is Coven and it has a sub command name states. So all these things are handled by a commander. And then 
for example you need to also you know ask or help uh, or ask few questions from the user to get the input that's where we will be using inquirer and this second last entry node notifier is something which i have created for now is to send a node desktop notification if the slot um, slot one will the slot functions run okay so these are the all basic things which we need and uh, so without wasting further much time so let's first have a look at uh, uh, npm uh, axios okay so if you search for axios npm it goes to npm uh, package manager and it tells you what are its features make rest http request makes these promises it support promises how do you want to install it right if you have already we i'm assuming we have already installed node.js okay and then how do we use it everything is there so it's like you don't have to do much right so let's first what we do is we will set a node node.js project and then we'll install these dependencies so for that let me quickly open our uh, i have created this folder coven okay and let me quickly open a terminal let me make it a bit bigger okay i hope you are able to see yes so let's let's first make it as a uh, uh, npm project right so for that what you can do is you can run npm in it and you see this 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 npm in it is also nothing but a cli command cli is command line in interface so this this has also been created i don't know whether via node.js or something else but it when i run npm in it it is asking me a few questions so this is what our inquirer will do for example i want package name to be coven this is a question so this is being taken care by inquirer and this command is being decrypted by commander the commander is the package name okay so i say yes package name has to be coven version is same description is uh, covid uh, 19 vaccinations slot tracker for india entry point is index.js yes from where the our, our application will start test man nothing get blank keywords blank license okay i say everything is fine you say okay okay so as soon as I do this you see this we have a package or json already created let's just move it to the right and make it smaller right yes so you already see this whatever information we have provided it is already there right and uh, let's first install all the modules which we need so for that what we can do is we can simply run a command named uh, let me make this like this npm install what all we want to install one is axios right and uh, what else we had we had chalk so just press space you can install use an individual install commands or you can do it at one go commander and uh, inquirer and then uh, we have node notifier and then last we have tty table so all these packages and let it run and you will notice here once it does you will see how these things get updated it will take some time because i could have done everything at uh, individually but it's okay Wow. yeah you see this there is a node modules which has come and it has axios but other packages also why because 
one package is dependent internally on other packages so you will see all the packages you will have our packages which we have installed these one but along with it you have their dependent packages also okay and if you notice that it has already added this dependencies as a the excuse chalk commander inquirer not all those packages so i think we are set right but i think let's do uh let's do one more thing which is that we'll create a one folder here and we'll call it as bin and we'll add our index.js file at this location okay now since we have already added our location as this so what we can do is we will update main as bin slash index.js that this is where my thing runs right it is it is available at this place that's what i am trying to tell it right now moving on right uh so this is okay we have our initial setup done now let's have like what do we have we'll have is where do we define what our command will be for example uh, here you have used npm install right how do we define this npm name right so what you can do is we will use uh, one second let me clear this we can do here is we'll just press comma i say it is in bin right it is bin and uh, i want to call this as this command as govin right so this is the name of the command which you will use and and where shall it go to you know when i say govin where shall it go it shall go to uh, dot slash bin slash index dot cs right so it goes to this file right and whatever code is there it runs so that's where you define what is your where is your or what is your uh, cli name govin and what is its location so we have so far defined these right but we have one more thing it is if you look at what our api will do right what our cli will do is let me just go back it will get all states right so we there might be some function which we call states it will get all district ids there will be a function which will call district id there will be slots right so these will be three functions right so these will be the functions which will be called by our cli right so either i can code everything here these functions or being a following a good practice programming practice what we can do is we can create a folder name util okay and inside it i create three classes states.js uh, and i have districts.js okay and then i have uh, slots.js so what this will have is it will contain our reusable functions right our functions which we which which will be called in index.js file okay so i think we are fairly set with our basic setup and i hope you have already done this right so far every file is blank except package.json slowly we will build on it okay so let's let's now start with the next step which is to let's build our first function states one then we'll build our district one slots one and then we will be like um, uh, finally moving towards index.js so you will we will walk through every one of it individually so let's start by creating our first function which is states.js right and uh, for that so first what we will do is we will first check whether do we have any apis or something which are available so for that let me quickly go to the site which is uh, coven okay and if you look at the top there is a thing called open api which is a job well done by uh, by by indian government that they are also providing us the apis and you can build on top of it and if you look here 
we have one is user authentication otp is one metadata these are the ones this is what is this states get states right and get list of district and okay this is what we want we want states but to get districts we need state ids right so that means somehow the person who is running the cli he needs to find what his state is right then state id using that state id he will get district and using that district id he can actually find the calendar for example if you want to find the slots you can see it is via district id right and date date we will be defaulting as today's date so i think we have pretty much everything here so let's just uh, look at the uh, format which we have is like okay this is normally will be the url okay and how the response will look like this is how the response will be you'll have states state underscore id state underscore name the similar the, the similar kind of response will get so let me just copy it but before that let me first open uh, npm axios because we will also be using the sample codes right so for example i will be making this call right and let's just copy it and if we go here we says constant axios require this that with module we have already installed in the setup i'm just getting this instance and because this function is something which we are planning to reuse in index.ax js so what i can do is i can write module dot exports is equal to function we don't want any parameter right we just want to export it and that's it and let's just now clean this up in case of error i just want to console log it now this so this is what is the endpoint the endpoint is this one very simple right so we will have a endpoint and in case it is successful let's just uh, console log the response right so we have a very basic setup right where we are actually uh, calling this right and uh, along with this let's do one thing what what because we have not uh, uh, defined what exactly will be the the header for us right the request header so for that what i can do is i can say const config is equal to uh, user agent because normally once you are sending something right to to the request it has a headers and in our header what we will see is uh, user agent so that uh, uh, we are clearing that who we are right so let's say it is a uh, excuse because if we don't do that it gives us a forbidden error it will not allow us okay so i have done that i will close the bracket and that's it right and okay i put one extra so we have uh we have our header right in config so let's just pass it along with that here so that the that this value is passed okay and now we have defined this function how do we use it in index.js all you need to do is const states is equal to require dot 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 slash util slash states yes and now i have this functions here and uh, all i need to do is just say because of states so this shall execute it right and let's maybe quickly check it so let me just open this here so that you can compare it so if you look at this we are creating a export function which is being exported with the same name it has xers if you want i can name it here but by default since i have not provided anything it is exporting it and xers get this go there get the state and just console log so and it is here right 
let's just open a terminal and uh, what we will do is let's just see node node uh, where what is the location dot slash bin slash index.js what is the error it says so error cannot find module util dot states utils what do i have util okay type of just no 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 i don't want this my bad so oh good so the response is coming and the response is data good states right so this is how it will look like and if you look at here here also it is like under states response or data dot states very good so let me just close it and uh, i will have response dot data dot states and if i run this again so you have the state id everything all done it is basically a if you look at this this is nothing but a table or an array and i can also do like this and save i don't in case for people who want don't want to run this transaction again and again this this command they can install node moon which is another package manager and which look for changes in your uh, uh, directory and in case there is then it automatically runs it wow so here we have got the state ids and state name so far so good so i think or maybe but this is not beautiful right so what we need to do is next is to make it beautiful right and to making it beautiful uh let me go to back to our axios and if you remember we have installed another package which is tty minus table right and uh, this package we have installed is because we want to see our uh, our output bit in a better way for example something not something like this or a bit better right something like this so how do we use it is it's also very straightforward it defines there is a header in which uh, value okay it is passing the, the basically the column name right and then you can do the assign the colors width you can also do a formatter we'll not use a formatter right so let's just maybe let me just hide it and uh, we have the result here so let's say we'll bring in our we'll comment this okay so what are the what are the column name the column name is state id right and state name okay so what i will do is i'll just say state underscore id and state underscore name and we don't need any formatter so i'll remove that width is 40 because name can be big state id is two digits at one day is okay so we have the header which define this but before that i think uh, we need to add a table at the beginning so what i will do is i will say copy this i'll say i need an instance of this package under this right okay so now what what to do next so we have defined what all columns will be there here right you have other things how do we want to align the header padding you can look at it and now once you have the rows and everything defined all you need to do is how do we call it come on so you just call it via this so table dot render and you pass header rows is our data options what are options oh okay options is at a table level how the op the header is how everything is so let's also define this so we define that okay border is like this color has to be blue header has to be this let's just use the default and just copy this right and then at the end we say because our our data is not in header and not in rows our data is in response dot state data dot states and if i just go here put it like this and it will print the output 
so far looks things look good but but it is not good unless it, it works right so maybe let's make it a bit smaller for you as of now because so that you can see the output i'll just clear it see this and uh, we will run this command again our table is not defined what table i have used oh capital d my bad bad at copying so if you look at this wow so this is much beautiful than this one right and it only tells you the state ids and names and all right but only thing is this is not user friendly so for that what you can do is you can have a thing called alias it's like what do you call it i want to call state id right and uh, what do you call this state name i want to call it as state name right and uh, if i run it again i forgot the comma i will install a node mon i think i will run a node mon when the next one will come so this is good so state id perfect i think our first first function is ready which is like we are making the call to the api we are then formatting it and then we are logging out where we'll use the same logic similar logic to do such formatting for our district as well as for our slots right so most and we will be mostly using these two for the other two function but since slots will have some kind of a header so there will use chalk also and other package which we have installed so i think we are done with the coding our first logic for getting the states now let's move on to districts how do we get the districts so our states is done and let's try to create our district.js also our district logic right we'll use the same stuff only thing will be the this will be different and uh, this formats will be different the apis and all so let me just copy it and create it here and press save yeah i think this is something which will be reusing across slots states and districts so it makes sense to put it something in a file name config.js so what we can do is let's create a file config.js okay and uh, let me first delete everything from district i go to states i just copy this okay and we put it in config.js since we want it to be available globally across the program the whole fun so we'll use exports right and uh, here also we will use exports we are trying to export this config right so all i need to do is format selection save so okay so this is something which has been defined now anyone can use it how do we use it we go to states.js i say const uh, uh what is the name i forgot config and options okay config comma options and then you have uh, require uh, dot slash config okay and now we are good so let me just validate it also if i just uh, run our command it works right okay so it's it looks good right so let me just copy this now and copy and paste it in district okay so now let's go and look at how does our district url looks like so it is something like uh, mm, I click here then we can see the sample one the sample one is something like this right and uh, okay that means there is a state id so let's just copy this first right and uh, districts but here we need something like state id so what i can do is that in our, in case you want to call this function right you need to pass it a parameter and let that parameter shall be state id right 
and this state id is my function argument okay so whatever state id will be passed to it it will be like not state id let's just look at the response also the sample one state id is this this because i'm interested in district right so that means we'll change this field to district right and this is also district name and alias will be district name and state id will be replaced by district id and it should be response dot data dot states no it should be districts right we copy this and we say this everything same only thing is we have got one more argument and these have customized it right now let's just try to run it okay but before that in case we need to run it what we need to do is in index.js we have already got this right we will import our districts one also and it is in districts correct now let's just look at first any dist because in order to run this function we need some district id state id so the state id is let's go for 12 which is Haryana. i will i will hard code it for the time being later because once you will run via cli you will be yourself passing it so i'll say uh, districts and 12 okay so first we will have a table now of states maybe let's just comment it it shall directly show us all the districts okay earlier it was states now let's just run it and yes you see these districts Cherki, Dagri, Ambala these are all districts in my state Haryana and if I just uncomment this also and if I run it now you will see two tables yes so one is for district one is for states so uh, our district logic is also completed I think uh, similarly we will write our slot logic only thing then which will be pending is somehow based on these inputs from the command line how do we pass them we'll see that so let's first in our next lesson try to create that slot.js file right and then we will see how to work on it so let's now uh, <clears throat> let me just hide this and uh, let's close this let's just copy district to our slots one right and uh, for slots one instead of state id we will need is a district id right and let's just first look at the end point of what it is for districts calendar by district and it gives you it is like public calendar by district and all you need to do is just uh, pass the parameters so for example this is how this is how you pass it right the dates district and all district id so what i will do is that instead of this we will replace this district id with the dollar uh, district id which will be an input to the function which we have defined and date also we will define locally so that will be like something like because we want to keep it current date if you want you can uh, do it as per your logic current date or whatever date you want to put it so district id district id is being used current date and all right and uh, if you look at the response the response is going to be like centers and then it will have these kind of a things sessions and all right so let's just say that uh, i think for here we'll need to do some processing because if you look at it i want the name and address right and then a state and all i already have but then these are under session there is an array right where you have the slots and how many are available for dose one dose two and capacity right 
so this is what we will we'll see will it look at the output and then we will accordingly process it right so so for the time being all i am saying is that let's just say console dot centers right and uh, fields yes fields field is i want a name okay so i say name and uh, let it be center name and uh, then i want a center address i think we'll need to do some kind of a processing here in a loop and all so maybe just let me for the time being you know what we'll do is let's just log it we'll not do any formatting just to check our data how does it look like all i need is a district id and district id is passed date date is something which we forgot of how do we add the date right so for date what we can do is uh let's have variable mm. Let's define it here because it is here. Variable curve date, I think. Yes, is equal to uh, new date. New, right. This is today. This is today's date. And now, because the format, if you look at the format, format is something like DDMM by by. So what we will do is we will bring in the formatter, right? And uh, date and the formatter we get get date whatever is the date, then coordinate with hyphen, then extract the month and add a leading zero and get a full year. So today's date. So let's just put it as today's date, not like this. So it's today's date and it shall work right now slots has a district id let's go to now i think it is ready ready in the sense basic sense not beautiful one so if i just import uh, slots one slots and uh, slots and let's just come in this and bring in slots and district is something because I am from Panchkula, so 187. So I'll say, get me all the slots in Panchkula. Okay, and uh, let's see whether it runs or does it throw any error. Right? Very good. It is working. Right. So let's let's look at this. So first is a name yes an address which we need which place it is where vaccination is going to be which address state name we might need in heading we need this but important is this sessions also right so what we can do is let's so that means under centers you have sessions right so what we can do is uh, let's loop across all this so Let's just comment it so I say this let's because it's not a flat structure we need to make a flat structure out of it so what I will do is response or data dot centers dot for each right and uh, then then we say what I need is each iteration you refer it to as an item and now what you get is basically that uh, uh, for example this is the district name here right and so for example if i just say we will need a big array because uh, we will need a final data right so let's declare a final data right and uh, we can now because we might now need to loop through across the next one also because uh, item has sessions and we want to loop through this so what i can do is i can say items uh, dot 
size item yeah, items not item items dot sessions as you can see on right dot for each right now we will have something like for each session we want certain detail right so we'll pass it here so now what we'll do is we'll say uh, our mm, let our data is equal to we are defining the structure of how our flat structure will look like we need is a name so i'll say uh, what do we need we need the name right or, or name so i say name or center it is center and it is in item dot name right then i need address so i need address item dot address right so all i need is item address right and uh, and in our sessions what we can see is what we have let us just maybe uh log this session value because i am not able to see what structure it has so let's just say console.log session for the time being right and uh, i am not logging anything else let's just run it to see what session it has okay so here you see it has session id date available capacity yes this is what we need so we will say label column session dot available underscore capacity because i want to know what is the capacity right and uh, slots we don't need and uh, yes age because we want to put it as a filter because there are some slots which are for 45 year and above some are for 18 and above so we want that also so i'll say session dot min age underscore limit right and uh, that's it i think that's what our data will be and uh, i'll say final data dot push our data right and if i just uh, log it here console dot log final data <laughs> i can see i'm typo data right and uh, if i just comment this so it still actually display a kind of our object array yeah center this address this available zero very good so we have the fields available so now let's try to make it work so let's let's now beautify it like we did it using tty table earlier so and we field this first field we have is center center name then we have address very good then what do we need is uh, uh is available right so available slot right and then 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 we age what is the age we are looking at right and i think we will also need the date also because what because it can have multiple dates right so this date one session is available on 15th another is on the next date so we'll have a date also available that which date how many slots so I put in as date that will be date age is in small it's sensitive and date right and then I'll say date session dot date what date this slot right so our header is ready right our options are already there so all i need to do is just copy this right and bring it here constant slot instead of this we'll have this and i will have final data as input here so now we are done we are good let's just check how our output looks like all i need to do is not bin index.js oh <laughs> yes because this is a small screen so that's why you see this now it looks like because our centers need more space slot can be less age can be less so slot and centers and center address need more space so what we can do is 
you can give this also as 40 available is very small 20 age is also 10 that is a single character date should be 20 okay and if i just now run it looks good only thing is this is still getting terminated we can adjust the size and this can still work right so if i just run now because it is not a whole screen and if you look at this now if i run it will be perfectly fine so you know so now we are able to get in fact available slot is blank because this is big it is always booked that's why i thought of having this app right that is always book and i can schedule this uh, task to run up via task scheduler this command to run up via task scheduler also right so that it can automatically notify me how do it notify me we'll see that right so basically you can see this is working very good now i think what is pending is that we are not showing anywhere which date it is for which we are running right so somewhere what we will do is we will have to bring in our next package which is uh, chalk right and because we want some header to be there and, and want that header to be beautiful so i say require chalk right and how does it look like how do we use it uh, let's just uh, where is it we, we search here chalk uh, npm repository here is it and uh, look at the sample code it is okay so you can change the background red green blue whatever you like you can change the color also and how do we use it all you need to do is console.log then use this whatever color you want to or background you want to change you want to use this bold one you can use this so maybe let me just use this and we will where shall we use we will do it before this right and i'll say I'm just trying to show you how it looks, right? So if you look at this, there is a header which has come, hello world, right? So same way we will have, uh, we wanted it uh, because I have another background as mm, this black, so it, it changes, but if it is a plain one you will see that background so what i want here is a date right which date today's date so what i will say is is date for which run today's date right and uh, somewhere i also want to print that okay I want a state also or or, or this uh, state name also right so if I just scroll up I hope it is there in the logs center not there so maybe let me find it in the quickly district underscore name okay so and it is available at header so what I can do is I can say let's let's maybe have it as uh, district name as blank and we'll have district name is stored in item dot district underscore name so i will have district name also district right so now let's just uh, run it control j and uh, yes it is coming i saw it district although it is <laughs> bad but it is coming you can see date for which run so we can have it as maybe i think i need to change the background to something like green because i have already had a dark one so that might make it a bit better so now if you see yes it is still better right and i can we can code the logic also that only if there is any slot you so show that entry 
that we might see and next is we we'll look at how do we build filters that i want to see only 18 one or 45 one i want to see all right we'll see that but if you ask me the basic structure of this state as this uh, uh slots is ready right and uh, maybe let's i think it's enough of logic building let's now move towards the place where we can actually create our command so in the next chapter or lesson we will try to create use commander and inquirer and you will not use this node bin dot index dot js we will use uh, the command cli or cli to run it okay so time now to go towards the magic where we actually start using that commander right which we haven't used so let me just remove this and let's have instant program is equal to require commander okay now we are trying to build our cli so if let's just open commander here and see the sample code So commander, uh, it can be used to create options. We'll create that commands. Yes, very good and helps. And there are so many things you can read it. We have already installed it. If you remember in our setup, how do we use it? If we are using this only. Then, 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 then we are. Okay. So this is how you add options, right? And I uh, know we want actions first. And how do we want uh, commands or actions or something? Where is it? Where is it? program dot pass pass third option 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 yeah commands so this is how you basically send the command that okay what all commands you want so what we will do is that uh, we'll copy this and put it here so first command should be what it should be to list down the states right and i don't want any parameter right so what she'll do is list down all the states and uh, action is we do the see it is passing a function but we already have our functions passed right defined in states so we'll say states okay then next one what do we want we want to list down the districts right and how do we want to list down we say districts and uh, then we want to define a parameter here so we'll say state id i need so what all we'll is, is we'll do is we'll say get all district for a state using id using state id okay and here i want districts to be called right so it will automatically pass that then next is uh, i want slots right so for slots what do you need you need is a district id right and uh, get all districts get all slots for district right and here i pass slots and then i say whatever is the input you pass it that's it i think our basic setup is ready which will so we'll have this commands but what was the name of our cli main command the command which you have to use is is coven right so how do we do it so now the next step once you have done this is to use the command let me do a clear screen npm install minus g dot because i want to use it anywhere and everywhere so it will create a package and install it let's just give it one minute okay good it is created is it so let's maybe try to find it out command is coven if i write coven Coven is not working. Mm, let me first check whether our code is working or not because that is more important for us. I think, yeah, that is working. And in fact, if I just say states, that is also working. I think 
Oh, okay. I forgot very important thing because right now when you say node, it automatically the the knows that this code has to be compiled via node environment, right? But when you run it via command like coven, it doesn't know what environment it is. So how you can mention that environment is basically you should say user stash pen env node you mention so you explicitly mention that my code will run via node and uh, will run via node right in user bin environment path okay you just say save and once you do this it is environment variable so it is important to update this is the our package which we are doing and but not for the normal changes we'll show that so if you just say coven now it works and for example if i change this slots to slot and if you just say coven you see this there's a slot right so that's that's like it's okay so so you don't need to make any changes that's okay so let's just now test our uh whether it works fine or not if i say coven states i have all the states if i say coven slots uh, coven uh, districts for rajasthan 29 whose district id is 29 you can see here right well let's open right so that is also very cool and what if i want to see forward slots in my in my 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 city panchkula covid oh i should have named it actually covid anyways so you can see these are slots there are unfortunately none is available and we also getting a good header now important thing one more advancement which we want to make right now is that once i run for slots i want that to you know ask me it wants you you know it gives me an question something like that okay whether you want to see records for all slots for all 18 only 18 year old 18 to 45 or only 45 plus or all so what we will do you for how we can do that is basically by using our inquirer remember we installed inquirer inquirer let's just quickly jump to inquirer and find the exact uh, code which we will use right and uh, let me open this because inquirer is once this slot transaction or command runs i want it to ask us a question right so what we will do is we'll add it here and uh, so how do we add it is we want it to basically prompt us okay so i will say variable inquire this is this is, this is a very straightforward so first let's get the inquirer okay and then we need to ask questions right so when do we want to ask this question is basically when we have before making our api call so that's where i say inquirer prompt but how do we pass the question we'll see that but before that let's uh let's first move everything let is axios uh part which is our api call inside this call this when this promise resolves then i want to this call this x use one right how do we define our questions let's go back and uh, go to this repository and uh, you can see here we have we need to pass it a object which can have type as input number confirm list raw list different option name message and choices this is what we will pass okay so what i will do is here i will say an object whose name is uh, whose type is list uh, name is a uh, choice and uh, what else you want we want message what do you want to show it to the user please choose age group right and then you have your choices which is nothing but an array of our objects right and this array has a name you will say all ages 
and value so value i'm saying blank is we pass blank if it is all right and let's copy this and this and i'll add a comma comma because the area of objects this is 45 plus and this is uh, i want to have value as 45 to be shown this is 18 to 45 and value as 18 to be shown okay and whatever is the answer will be coming here let's just first log this answer so see what value comes because we don't know right so let me just beautify it format selection we don't need to run any any npm install because it is already saved there's no major change so if i say common slots you see now we get a, a prompt the same prompt all ages 45 plus this if i choose anything right now no code is there so if i just choose uh, 45 plus and if i look here choice is 45 okay it is in it is in in in, in answers or choice okay so what we will do is right now uh, we know now which is where so while we are making our data ladder close if answers dot choice is equal to blank then you add all the records right uh, okay and then we need a else if which is to basically say if answer dot choice is equal to this that means if it if you choose 18 then it will compare only 18 will be added if you choose 45 only 45 will be added right so let's just now run it again now for for example i choose 18 you see this twice is 18 and i see all the 18 and if i run again uh, for 45 plus and only 45 records are shown brilliant so let's just remove this console okay so we are all good right now now this is majority of the work is done but one thing is pending let's say we want to have a notification whenever this slot is run right so what we will do is we will see how do we do it let me just because for that i need to show the notification let me change the setting so we want some kind of a notification to come right for that if you remember we have added no notifier so i will use that function right that that package require uh, node notifier yes and wherever we want to send the message for example when soon as this output is shown and i want to run it right that how does it look like so what we can do is we can say notifier dot notify okay and then here you can basically pass the object where you will mention what is the title of the message for example i want a coven slots executed right and then you can have subtitle if you want okay let's just write subtitle as it is messages uh, then you need to pass the message message i'm keeping the same right and uh, then you have uh, something like uh, you can pass a uh, wait as to message to be dismissed and right you have other options also sound and all and everything you can check that so now whenever this will get executed we shall get uh, some notification we'll see so if i just say cls and if i now run coven slots 187 uh, now we have ages so i just say 18 and you see behind my back here right there is this execution which has come coven slots executed right so that's how normally we we add those notification i have we we can put this notification inside uh, somewhere here with the logic that in case you find any slots greater than zero 
then you basically uh, come back and and you can you know display this notification so what will happen is you are working and and you have scheduled this task in the background to run via task scheduler each 30 seconds or each one minute it is running and you will get to see that okay wow there's a notification come some slots are there let me quickly go there and uh, book my slot so that's how i am i'm kind of using trying to use it i'll, I'll enhance that logic to basically at least to bring it to that uh, where we get notifications in uh, like uh, four slots greater than zero otherwise still rather than going to a browser it is still a better way there are other ways which also exist but i thought of making it a cli and and uh, doing it you can uh, you can also further explore this coven right where you can explore these options you can add those options maybe let me just show you how we can add i'll just show you we will not uh, run it will not code that but we'll just show you how do we add so if i just say program dot option right and then you have to just say is, uh, for example i want to see uh, only available slots let's say right and i say available and uh, then you need to um, what you need to do is you need to kind of provide here the descriptions uh, I think there is string program string description. Oh, okay, like this. Tick, tick, tick. And then available, and then maybe let's just provide man statics available source and press save. And if I just run now. You can see this it is available default is available slots right so this is a default one it is automatically showing you so basically you can now uh, go ahead and you can uh, basically code these options also so i think with this we have done with our cli and uh, we will now move towards uh, making something more complex in coming chapters okay finally we have come to the end of this course and uh, where we started our course with an idea what all we will use for example we will use the xeos to make our api calls chalk for beautifying this talk tty table for beautifying tables commander for making those prompts right those sub commands and uh, inquirer for making those prompts right uh, and not notifier for notifications i think you have learned a lot and and uh, hopefully it, you have learned something that makes sense as a next step what you can do is you can automate your most of the things using it right you can uh, you can do a number of things you want we could have done the same thing using some um, scrapper right which you could uh, which we could use to uh, go to the site do some stuff and get this data scrapped out from the website or using automation any automation software so it all there are different options it all depends on you or you could have uh, you could try integrating whatsapp telegram and different apps in place of uh, node one right so the sky is the limit and uh, with this i thank you for watching this course and completing this course and, and wish you all the best and stay safe keep sharing keep learning bye bye